Oh, this guy is a friend of the show. He's on every every episode, Jeremy. We have a standing agreement. And at this time, I also I'll plug next Sunday night, November 11th, okay? It's going to be the debut of The Bad News with Tavis, I think is the title of it. It's going to be an all-political show, kind of like The Daily Show Live. I'm going to be on it. You think I'm Marxist tonight? Whoa, it's not yet. Uh, anyway, on that note, uh, your next act, a uh, uh, very, very good friend of mine, very, very talented writer. Please make a hand for Tavis Maplesden, everybody. Thank you, Trevor Pad. How you guys doing tonight? Woo! All right, you can do better than that. How you doing tonight? Oh, all right, he nodded his head. That's good. That's good. Um, so the what Trevor allows me to do is uh, is to work on some new stuff and to try some stuff out every time that I come to the Trevor Pad, and uh, I'm shorter than I imagined I was. Um, <laughs> And uh, I was looking for some inspiration recently, uh, so some stuff to do, and I found uh, an old diary of mine, and I was wondering if you guys would uh, would be interested in hearing one of my, some of my diary entries. Yeah? You, you okay with that? All right, cool, here. Uh, here we go. I'll, uh, let me just get to it. This is the one that I found that, uh, it's really funny. Um, Dear Diary, I wonder if the word diary and the word diarrhea come from the same root. <laughs> like, is this just me shitting out all my loose thoughts onto the toilet that is this page? <laughs> anyway, it's just after Halloween 1992. I'm currently, if my math is correct, 13 years old. <laughs> it's kind of weird that I'm even writing in this diary because I never have before. I wonder if I will continue to. I won't unless this bit is funny, and then maybe I'll find another entry. <laughs> I feel like I'm on the verge of becoming a man. I got drunk for the first time recently. I'm not sure if I liked it. I may have to try a couple thousand more times to see. <laughs> I also smoked my first cigarette and had my first toke of hashish. It's crazy that it's even illegal to smoke weed, but I doubt that will ever change. <laughs> the thing is, I still feel like a kid. I still lie in bed and try to figure out how to fight a perfect round in Street Fighter II Champion Edition with M. Bison. But the burgeoning young man in me is masturbating to thoughts of young teenage girls at the same time. Which is okay because I'm a young teenager at the time too. <laughs> Maybe it's my changing body. Maybe it's all the hash smoke and beating off. But, but something inside me is worried. Worried about the future. What will the world be like in 26 years? <laughs> will people still be relatively civil with each other? Will society have descended into a quagmire of unfounded fear and anger as dynamic shifts in power change the face of the globe itself? <laughs> but even more importantly, Will Michael Jackson still be the undisputed king of pop, if he's even known by that at this point? And will he continue to have an amazing singing career unmarred by any kind of scandals? I guess only time will tell. And where will I be? It's hard for me living in Toronto, as I currently am at the age of 13, to imagine ever, ever being anywhere else. Maybe Vancouver, though. I hear they got some good weed out there. Or Montreal. Shacked up with some French girl who exhales cigarette smoke out her nose and speaks English with a French accent that always sounds kind of condescending. She'll have to speak English. I'm a product of the Toronto French language system. My French is about as good as that of a two-year-old Quebecois kid who's not only stupid, but also dyslexic. Definitely not Ottawa, though. There's no way I'm moving there. I've never even been there, but I hear it's a boring backwater government slash logging town that's full of shitheads. <laughs> Especially the people who go to comedy shows. They're the shitheadiest of them all. And each one uglier than the last. But they're generous with their drinks. From what I hear, they'll buy you a beer even if you do stuff like call them a bunch of shitheads. <laughs> oh well, oh well. I guess we'll have to wait and see. That's all for now, diary. The only thing left to do now is draw some boobs on one of your pages and get down to business. <laughs> that, that was me at 13. Thank you very much, Trevor Pat. It's been fun. Hey, Thomas Mabel's 
Wisconsin, everybody. We called you all shitheads. Are you going to take that? Yes. Yes, we are. Oh, yes, like I 